Hi, this is Kibo, and this is my Rudolph's Goof Ignited High Grade 1144 um, model. And here he is. So I basically repainted this whole thing. Um, it came with a frosted yellow, and to me, it kind of looked ugly. And so I decided to paint it gold. And this is actually the first time that I've ever um, spray painted stuff. I've painted stuff with a brush before and it was really ugly and this is the first time I've tried using some type of um, spray can. So you can see that he's completely gold now. Um, I also painted these dark brown parts um, into some type of oil rubbed bronze color. And I left the white by itself. Um, I was trying to use my air gun, but these parts are too small, and I ha I don't have a place to do do airbrushing, so I decided not to do anything to the white. Um, I spray painted these guns and the hands, and like the insides, kind of silver, the thrusters and stuff. Um, I did some panel lining. Let me just zoom it closer. So it's kind of hard to see the panel line, um, but there's some panel line there. There's some panel line here. The sticker, the eyes, the sticker. These are rub-on decal. Same over here. And let's see. So for articulation, the head can barely turn. Maybe just left it right. Um, not much movement there. For the arms, I can turn it 360, bend it, bend it all the way, only up to here. I can move the wrist just slightly. For turning, I can turn it a little bit. I could do a 360, but it's going to pop out, I think. Um, these skirts lift up a little bit. The side skirts lift up a little bit as well. The legs only go as far as, let's lift the side one up, only goes this far. Let's see, forward and backwards. Forward this much and backwards that much. I can bend this pretty much 90 degrees. And the ankles, you can move it any direction you want. Forward, backward, side to side. Mm. Oh, and this thing is easy to fall out because it uses a metal rod to keep it together. And this thing can actually lift up. This is some metallic orange sticker. Let's see what else. These are sticker as well. And finally, um, you got the base stand that comes with it. Oh, forgot to talk about the weapon. I got a sword right here. There is a longer sword with some um, power coming out of it, like this pink stuff, but I didn't put it together yet. So stick this back in the back of the shield. And there's also this this pink one, which he's supposed to use as a whip. But again, um, it uses a different hand, so I haven't switched that hand yet since it's still drying. So here's the little hand. And that's basically it. So this is one of my first um, high grade model and it does require a lot of painting to make it look good. Otherwise it was fun. Thanks for watching.